Now, let us solve question number 21 from exercise 10.2, chapter 10. In the figure, AB is a chord of length 16 centimeters of a circle of radius 10 centimeters. The tangents of A and B intersect at P. Find the length of PA. Now moving on to solution. Here from the figure it is given that AB is equal to 16 centimeters and radius that is here OB is equal to 10 centimeters. And he is asking us to find the length of PA. We know that a line from center to an external point from where the tangents are drawn at the endpoints of curve OP is perpendicular to AB since at the end point of the chord tangents are drawn and the line drawn from the center to the point from where tangents are drawn intersects the chord joining the point of contacts on the circle. So here OP is perpendicular to AB and also OP will bisect AB that means here AL is equal to BL that is half of AB which is 8 centimeters and here we have the radius 10 centimeters also now consider in triangle BLO as angle BLO is equal to 90 degrees by Pythagoras theorem OB square is equal to OL square plus BL square which implies OB square is 10 square which is equal to OL square let us find out plus BL square is 8 square which implies OL square is equal to 10 square that is 100 minus 8 square is 64 which is equal to 36 now we get the value of OL is equal to 36 square root of 36 that is 6 centimeters now we got OL is equal to 6 centimeters let us assume that LP is equal to X and PB is equal to Y then we get this as Y and LP is X therefore here OP will be equal to sum of LP and LO that is X plus 6 now in triangle PBO we know that OB is perpendicular to PB since at the point of contact tangent is always perpendicular to the radii at that point so again in this triangle by Pythagoras theorem we can say hypotenuse square that is by Pythagoras theorem we get OP square is equal to PB square plus OB square and X plus 6 whole square is equal to Y square plus 10 square from this we get y square is equal to x plus 6 whole square minus 100 let this be as equation number 1 now again in triangle BLP we have angle L is equal to 90 degrees again by application of Pythagoras theorem in this triangle we get hypotenuse square that is PB square is equal to PL square plus LB square which implies PB square is here y square that is equal to PL square is x square plus LB square is 8 square let this be as equation number 2 from 1 and 2 the left hand side is equal so we can say the right hand side will be also equal which implies X plus 6 whole square minus 100 is equal to X square plus 8 square let us extend this then we get X plus 6 whole square minus 100 is equal to X square plus 64 that implies x plus 6 whole square can be written as x square plus 2lx plus 36 minus 100 that is equal to x square plus 64 which implies x square and x square is same on equality so that will be cancelled and will be left out with 2lx is equal to 64 plus 100 minus 36 which is equal to 100 minus 36 is 64 and 64 plus 64 is 128 which further implies x is equal to 128 by 12 that is 12 goes in 4 3 times and 128 goes in 32 times so we got the value of x as 32 by 3 centimeters but we actually need the value of y 
So let us substitute this in equation number 2 that is y square is equal to x square plus 8 square that is 32 by 3 whole square plus 8 square is 64 which is equal to let us take 64 common then we get 64 times in 32 by 3 the down part will be 9 and if we took LCM here 16 by 9 plus 1 which is equal to 64 times if we take 9 LCM here then we get 16 plus 9 by 9 that is 25 times by 9 so now y will be equal to square root of 64 times 25 by 9 that is equal to square root of 64 is 8 into square root of 25 is 5 divided by square root of 9 is 3 which is equal to 8 times 5 is 40 by 3 therefore we got pb is equal to 40 by 3 centimeters but what we actually need is pa we know that tangents drawn from the external point will be equal in length therefore we can say pa also will be equal to 40 by 3 centimeters that's the solution